I've done a couple small things. The uh, emergency danger ball there is not glued into place yet. I have to put the two LEDs on the side. I did glue the computer wall into place, and I, what I what I essentially decided to do was to cover the whole thing in super glue. It gave it something of a gl glassy, glossy look, such as uh, was seen on TV, and it made gluing down those center divider panels much, much easier. Yeah, this whole area is going to look real nice when it's done, I think. So that is now glued into place and all set to go. What I was doing just now is kind of looking at all the space underneath the model, essentially. I don't know if we'll be able to see much here at all. But I was looking at the floor of the living quarters here and realizing how many LEDs and such that I really need to start putting in here. So I wanted to compare how much space I have underneath, uh, where it's going to go on top, and so on. All the sequencers essentially have to be attached to this upper piece, because if I take it apart, I don't want the sequencers and the LEDs to be separated from the... Uh, uh, this is going to take two hands. Is it? There we go. So yeah, when I take it apart like that, the sequencer has to go with it. There's no other choice, really. To that end, I need to minimize all the height that is going on down here. I've already actually broken away one or two of these uh, rods I originally put in simply because it was in the way of where LEDs had been placed. One of the obvious things I'm going to have to do is uh, minimize all this wiring. A lot of this can essentially go away now that I know where it's going. Essentially, I had uh, wired each LED individual not knowing where the power would be, and then from there just kind of worked backwards. So now I can actually take all this negative and positive bundle, trim that down to a single wire each, and have this be a much more flexible and uh, useful system overall. So it's a little messy right now. It's going to stay that way until I'm actually completely finished with this here. Because what I'm realizing is that I'm going to keep needing to do back and forth tests all the time between going from this and that and making sure everything fits. So there's no point in putting the legs on here because they're just going to break off. The drill mark I did there worked out pretty well. It's not quite off or circular, but it does fit the... Uh, new RGB copper pipe that's going down there. Uh, what else? What else? I think that's about it for the moment. I wound up cutting these walls down by half. There shouldn't be any issue there. I think this double barrier here will be more than enough to do the light blocking from the uh, fusion core underneath. So with that, let's get this out of the way and onto the floor. And flip this baby over. So one of the things that's been vexing me for a long time is where is all this fiber optic going to go? And this isn't even all of it because I haven't put the top command modules in on uh, the main command console yet. The computer readouts and there's like 300 more something fibers just from those alone that are going to be doing their own thing. Another issue is that the colors for these fiber optics when they're blinking and the colors for these fiber optic bundles that are blinking are different. This should be either a warm white or a yellow and this is probably going to be a blue or a cool white to go with the freezer wall. Or should it contrast it? I'm not sure. I'll have to take a look through my notes overall. I do know that seeing all this fiber and how it's laid out essentially all the LEDs for every section is going to go in the middle round area here just above the fusion core so fortunately that has very little uh, in the way at all and there's going to be plenty of room to do that so what I'm going to be doing very soon is cutting up a bunch more of these little uh, aluminum or brass tubes and start stacking them up in the middle here 
this super thick bundle of fiber optics I was thinking I'd put the LEDs back here and have them feed through this tube but what I'm actually going to do since this one is broken here I'm going to cut them all short and have the LEDs feeding somewhere in this area here and use this tube as uh, perhaps to bundle the tubes rather than the fibers so that's going to need its own sequencer the uh, command console here and the freezer walls, these are going to need like two sequencers each at least I think just slightly offset on time from each other and all the fibers just randomly strewn in between all the different lighting possibilities. I'm thinking three or four LEDs on each sequencer and uh, yeah some strange combination thereof. So that's been another thing I've been trying to wrap my head around and I think I've finally got a fairly good handle on it overall. So, so what I've been doing is that I trimmed down these uh, blue LEDs, the blue LEDs that will go here, those will be on a sequencer, if not two sequencers, and uh, should be plenty of room. I'm worried about the height, we'll see how that goes glued down an extra green tube over here because I'll need a single fiber going to that. Everything here is pretty much mapped out. I will start gluing things into place when I'm pretty sure about it overall. Then over here what I've got going on is three six tubes. I could put one or two more in there probably if I wanted. I might even carve some of this plastic away to make that a better fit right there. And these will be divided between two different sequencers, offset from each other, and the fibers spread randomly throughout. So what I'm about to do is start gluing all these into place. And I'll be using my standard CA glue and baking soda tricks. Uh, so far this is proceeding apace. I'm definitely worried about running out of space in each of the tubes, but I think I'll just about make it. I'm trying to get a proportionate amount into each one and then just doing uh, cuts where it looks like they'll be the best length for the fit. 
basically measuring it out to about halfway down the tube. and every section of the wall is going to need its own representation of each color Yeah, it's starting to look nice and trim here, I gotta say. And it looks like everything will fit fine. Very nice. It is getting a little complicated here, but it should work out. I will be collecting all this fiber optics later on because it can be used in other models easily enough.